Hello and welcome to this episode of Luminar News. My name is Jacob Bors and I'm here to bring you up to speed with the latest Luminar updates. Just before we're going to start, I want to remind you to subscribe to our channel to make sure that you don't miss one of our future episodes or updates. Skylum just announced a new update for Luminar Neo with the number 1.6.3. In this video, we first gonna go through the list of the updates, then I'm gonna show you how to make sure that you're running the latest version, and if you're not, how to update it, and finally, at the end of the video, we're gonna jump into Luminar Neo, and I will show you how to use all the new updates in it. The new update with the number 1.6.3 is coming with the new onboarding experience, dozens of improvements, and bug fixes. So first of all, let's talk about the onboarding. You can now experience a handy interactive onboarding guide showing you how to edit sample images in Luminar Neo. I will show you how to use that a little later in this video. Additionally, the AI power for this photo feature is now available in the Sky AI tool. And once again, I will show you how to use that later on in the video. We also have a support for some of the latest cameras, including the Canon EOS R6 Mark II and Sony A7R 5 There have also been plenty of changes and improvements. For example, raw images open faster and you can also export them faster. Plus, the AI masking got even more precise. Finally, the alpha channel is now taken into account when using a transform and clone tool. On top of that, Skylum fixed a number of bugs, so Luminar Neo runs even more smoothly. If you want to see the full list of the updates, make sure you head to the Skylum website, skylum.com slash what's new slash Luminar Neo. And now let's jump into the Luminar Neo and see how to make sure that you're running the latest version. Before we're going to continue, I want to mention that this episode of our Luminar Neo news is powered by our Luminar Neo Power Bundle. The most popular bundle full of elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. You will get over 986 skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, sky objects, LUTs, and presets. To get the best price, just follow the link in the description or visit directly our website cleverphotographer.com and start transforming your images right now. In this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to make sure that you have the latest version of Luminar Neo, and if you don't, I'm going to show you how to install it. So first of all, as you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo and we are in the catalog module. From here, I want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen and click on the Luminar Neo logo. Once you do that, you have the option to click on About Luminar Neo. So click on it, and that will open a new window here. As you can see that it's called Luminar Neo Update 6, and here you can see the version. At this moment, I'm running the version 1.6.2, which is the older version, so I know that I need to update it. Now I can close it by clicking on the little red button here and go back to the top left corner and once again click on Luminar Neo. Here simply select the check for updates, which will open a new window and tell you if you need to update it or install it. So as you can see with my window, it says that the new version of Luminar Neo is available. Now it tells me that Luminar Neo 1.6.3 is available. I have an older version, so all I need to do here is just click on Install Update. It will take a few moments. As you can see, it's not a big update. It will download the update, extract it, and then we will continue. Once the update is downloaded and extracted, it will give us an option to install it and relaunch it. So simply click on it and give it a moment. So as you can see, the installation is finished. It brought me back into Luminar Neo and I am still in catalog module. From here, we can double check that we have the latest version. You already know how to do that. Navigate to the top left corner, click on the Luminar Neo logo and click on about Luminar Neo. With this version, with the number 1.6.3, 
the window changed, it doesn't look the same anymore. However, we can still see the version here. So as you can see, I'm having the version 1.6.3, which is the latest version at this moment. And once I'm done with it, I can just click on the little red button here and start to use the application. And now it's time to look at the updates directly in Luminar Neo. So as you can see, we are in the application, we are in the catalog module, and first thing we're gonna look at is the onboarding. So going through the updates, remember there is a new interactive onboarding guide available in Luminar Neo. So how to access it? Well, first of all, when we are in all images, you can see that some of the images have this little icon in the top left corner. Those are the sample files that are part of the onboarding. To access them easier, you can go back into the main toolbar here, and instead of clicking on all photos, you can click on sample images. When you do that, you will see the list of the sample images. At this moment, there is five of them, but I'm expecting more of them come as the updates arrive. So let's start with the first one, click on it to select it, and then move it into edit module by clicking on the edit on the top of your screen or hitting E on your keyboard. When we move into the edit module, you can see that we have these little tabs available. The first one will give us the suggestion to replace the sky, and the second one is telling us that we can boost the picture with one slider, so most likely with the enhanced AI. So how does it work? Well, you simply click on the little yellow tab, and that immediately opens the tool in your main toolbar. So just as I mentioned, boost with one slider when you click on it, it opens the tool in your main toolbar, in this case, the Enhance AI. Here I can go and start to adjust the Accent AI and improve the image. And once I start to do that, you can see that the tab and the suggestion disappear. Once I'm finished with it, I can close it and move to the next suggestion, which in this case is the Replace the Sky. So once again, when I click on it, it opens the Sky AI tool in our main toolbar, and from here I can now go ahead and replace the sky. So now we have this little suggestion here, we will mention that in a moment, so let's just jump in a sky selection, select one, and that will replace the sky. Once again, once that's done, you will see that the tab will disappear. Now this is for this landscape image. So let's go back into the catalog module, and let's select another example file here, or the sample file. So let's select the portrait, and once again move it into edit module. Once we move it here, you can see that the only suggestion here is to shape the body. So let's click on it, that will open the body AI tool, and here we can play around with the shape slider to adjust the shape of the body. We can make it wider, or we can make it a little less wider, just like this. And let's do one more, let's go back into the catalog and let's select the second portrait. Once again, move it into edit module. And what are the suggestions here? So now we have more of them. So soften the lines, add glow and light to the portrait. So let's click on that. And that opens the glow tool. So add glow and light to the portrait. So here we have the soft focus selected and let's just increase the amount, which works quite nicely. Once again, once I add it and start to use the tool, the tab disappear. After that, we have the option to retouch the face, easily enhance any facial features. So let's click on it, and that will open the face AI tool. Here we can add some face light if we want to, and we can also slim the face. Of course, that we can open the eyes and mouth and play around with that. And if you wanna see a full tutorial on how to use the face AI tool, I will make sure that I will link it in a corner of your screen. And after that, we have only two more tabs to use. So let's click on the beautify the skin that will open the skin AI tool, increase the amount here, maybe somewhere around 11. And to finish it off, let's go into the bring out the details and click on that. And what that will open is the enhance AI. And here by using the accent AI, we can really bring some of the details up. So this is the way how you can now use the interactive onboarding guide directly in Luminar Neo. So once again, when we go back to the catalog module, you simply click on the sample images, and here you will see a list of images which you can simply open, and then start to use the suggestions 
directly on your image. The second update is focusing on the Sky AI tool with its new AI powered for this photo feature. So let's have a look at it. First of all, I have this image here and let's just quickly bring it into the presets. If you ever use this presets, you know that on the top of the main toolbar, you have this option called for this photo. It will show you list of the presets, which based on the AI are good for you to use on this image. And now we have a similar option for the Sky AI tool. So let's just move the image into the edit module and let's go into the Sky AI tool. For this, we need to go in our main toolbar. We're going into the creative section and we click on a Sky AI tool. Now, previously, we only had this part here with the Sky selection and the tabs. And now we have this option once again called for this photo. We have some sky suggested here, which the AI thinks are suitable for this image. So let's try the first one. You just click on it and it's get used right away. And you can also try the second one and see what you like the most. The third suggestion, just like in the presets, is a suggestion of the skies that you can purchase directly from Skylum on their website. And if you click on the third sky, it will bring you to the website. The good thing is that you can try the suggestion and if you don't like it, you can then jump into your own library of skies and try one of them. So it's really up to you, but it's quite handy to have a, like a quick suggestion on a sky, which may be suitable for your picture. Now, don't forget that there are some additional updates, also some of the bugs fixed. There are some new cameras supported with Luminar Neo. So double check once again the list at the beginning of the video to make sure you're getting the most out of your Luminar Neo. And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.